Hi, this is Justin Ball, the owner of Hammerhead Showers. And in this video, I'm gonna be installing this slide bar. It's our all metal slide bar. It's 27 and a half inches long, and we're gonna be putting it right in the shower here. This is actually our daughter's uh, shower. So in our case, we wanna bring the, the handheld shower head lower so it's more accessible to her. So that's what we'll be doing. Um, Take a look at what you'll need for installation. We have safety gear, so gloves and uh, glasses, because we're gonna be drilling a couple of holes. A uh, little pencil for marking, a level. I wanna make sure it's straight and level. Uh, power tool, this power drill here. Uh, have carbide drill bits. This is ceramic tile, so we can use carbide, but if you have uh, uh, like, stone or uh, uh, porcelain tile that's or you know you're going to want to use a special like diamond drill bit for drilling holes uh, this drill bit it's 3 16 of an inch uh, that's what we'll be using um, and then a hammer to pound in the uh, the wall anchors and uh, that's pretty much it so let's talk about the product and what's in the box all right, so opening up the slide bar box, uh, we have our installation and use instructions. Please read through this, it's very important, uh, especially since this is a little bit more of a complicated installation. Um, so we have instructions here and how to use it uh, on this side. I'll go through all through that in this video. Uh, Here's the, the slide bar. It's made from stainless steel and brass. The, the bar itself is stainless steel and then the holder and these mounts are brass. Uh, so you can see uh, we have uh, two Allen screws on each side, which are gonna lock down on the wall mount hardware. Uh, if you're missing an Allen screw, check in the bottom of this bag here. We got that. We have the installation hardware. So you got screws, wall anchors, and the Allen wrench. Here are the brass wall mounts uh, that you're gonna attach to the wall and then uh, that's what's gonna uh, support the slide bar. And then you'll have two decorative flanges like this, these are stainless steel flanges with a little uh, gasket in there to get a watertight seal. And that'll just cover up uh, this brass part once we're done with installation. So there you have it, that's what's included. Next part is just getting the positioning right on the wall, making markings, and then we can move into drilling holes. All right, so the first part before we make any markings on the wall is we want to attach the brass mounts, these guys, to each end of these uh, finished mounts. And we'll take the Allen wrench out of that. Um, before you do this, you can in, inside of here, there's a, an Allen screw, and you can loosen that up and slide this mount uh, a little bit further up or further down if you want more or less range. But we have it for the set for the ideal range, but there is a little screw in there. I'm not going to touch it right now because I like where it is. Um, so just back off uh, these allen screws a bit because they're protruding down what you want to do is get this right in there okay tighten that one down because then we'll get it nice and lined up Good already. All 
right, once you have those in there, like that, uh, we'll go ahead and <clears throat> find the spot that we want on the wall, okay? Now, because I'm a little shorthanded here, uh, I, I cheated a bit and uh, I already found the spot and uh, marked some holes here, but basically where I want it is just accessible for my daughter to reach uh, and for her to kind of grow into it. Um, so I'm gonna, just for example here, right? Kind of find, find the position. This is about right where we wanted it. A little cheat is following this uh, grout line um, to get it, you know, fairly, fairly level. Um, but with once you find your position, okay, just mark off the top spots. Best of a marking on it as you can. And then once you have your upper position marked, okay, get that nice and flush there. Then we'll come down to the lower position. Make sure, can you see that? Nice and level on the bottom level bubble. Perfect, that looks good. And then I will mark off my circles there. All right, so I got my three markings and my three markings there. Um, so the next step is drilling those holes in the wall. Um, and uh, I'll start with the top one right and then once that's uh you know nice and square and flush i'll make sure i'll double check the bottom line make sure it's nice and level and then get the holes punched in there uh, and then we'll go into the the finishing process so that's this is like the hardest part just making sure you find the right position that you want on the wall mark making the markings nice and level getting the holes drilled and then it's uh, easy peasy from there so here we go This is the 3 16th of an inch carbide uh, drill bit. It's a masonry drill bit that handles ceramic tile. Okay. All right. Uh, and actually what I'm gonna do here on this first one I'm gonna take this brass plate off and use it just as a quick guide. All right. So that one's gonna be my guide. Done with this. Move it out of the way. Okay. So I'm just gonna start with my first hole here. Actually, going to do a little, a little cheat here. Okay, so I'm going to grab one of these anchors and one of these screws. Just 
make sure that got enough room in there to pound this in. Okay, yeah, it's still snug in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scale up one bit size here to the quarter inch. So now that that is nice and, and flush, I'm just gonna use this as a guide. Okay, put in my screw bit. Grab one of the screws. Yeah. with the wall there. Okay. Then I'm gonna come back in and get So that was the three sixteenths. Hit it with the quarter inch now. This is so secure doing these two upper anchors. I'm just gonna probably just gonna use the two on each side so I don't have to put too many holes in the wall. You can see we actually patched up a hole in the wall. We got a video on that with some uh, some grout that that matched. So. It's not the end of the world, but you know. All right, grab another screw here.
So now it's nice and uh, snug to the wall. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do here is just do a quick test to make sure that the screw positions are nice and lined up. So I'll just tighten that one down. Be easier to do without gloves. This is not what the gloves are for. There we go. All right. Well, that's good. I'm not going to worry about the bottom one just yet. Get out of the way. You know, because honestly, I'm, I'm a DIYer just like y'all, all right? So sometimes masonry, this thing's a little bowed. Let me just grab that. can move a little bit on you. When you drill holes, a little bit. Maybe that's just me. Just a smidge, so I just wanna make sure I'm recalibrating here before I go pound uh, any more holes in the wall. Perfect. There we go. All right, so. Gotta take this one off now. Okay. And I'm actually going to use this one as a little bit of a guide. Just be careful with these set screws in the uh, in the shower because probably should have done this just to be safe throw this right down here that's what that was for you know that's for you plumbers out there probably you know maybe you're watching this um, okay so going back to my 3 16 that's just me. I like to start it off. Now that I have okay. <laughs> Got a few markings here. I just wanted to double check which one I'm going on. So it's this thick, thick one. So. Wait a second. That's the quarter inch. Let me start with the 3 16 like I said.
back to the three sixteenths. There are some extra screws in here and anchors. We will be adding some extra set screws too, but if you lose any for some reason or something happens to them, you can always reach out to us. Lifetime warranty on this product. Great customer service. Call us, email us, whatever your flavor is. So, hard part is complete. I'm going to wipe the sweat off my face and then we'll get into the finishing touches. All right, so now we're gonna attach the slide bar to the brass mounts. Uh, but before we do that, let's grab these nice decorative flanges and we're gonna slide them over here first. So can uh, either remove these or you could just screw them all the way in. It's probably easier to screw them all the way in so that this can pass over. Make sure that this rubber gasket's on there, it gives a nice tight seal and uh, yeah. So slide that one over and then Slide that all the way down. Okay. I think this is the side that we wanted. Oh, I gotta let me back out these screws just until they're not pointing in. Great. All right. And then. So it's nice, nicely on there. Uh, if for some reason you can't, doesn't quite uh, catch, um, like I said in the beginning of the video, right inside there, there is a set screw. And with this long side, if you loosen it up, you can just adjust this up or down a little bit. So if it's like catching here, but this side is like, you know, a little bit too high or a little bit too low, you can, you can save yourself, okay. All right, now last step is just tightening down these uh, set screws as much as you can. one side and then
make sure this is pushed up against the wall because there is a little niche for it to fasten behind on the brass plate. And you'll know if you're not on it. If it's not flush, it's not going to go down that deep, the Allen screw, that is. Okay, that's pretty good. This is not a support bar. It's not a grab bar, but I'll say it is uh, very sturdy and uh, very well built. Okay, so now we have that all done. Uh, like last part, since you're watching this video, you probably have this product or you're thinking about it. Um, is so this is a brass uh, holder. The whole thing, this whole thing is brass. Um, so you can adjust it just by loosening this knob and tightening it uh, back down, right? So let's just say we want it right here, right? And there you go, it sits right in there like that. Now, let me just show you something else. In case you installed this with this piece, or this piece facing up, right? Just for example, does not fit, right? So there's one side, that this goes in, it's not the end of the world. Um, show you a quick solution, which is also if you wanna have this a little bit more angled, right? You just come right over here. See there's a Phillips screw in there. Let's just loosen that, see that? Okay, and then you can just flip it to the side that you want. Uh, so this is, it's tapered, okay? So you want the, likely the wider side up. Um, but if you want, let's say you want the angle a little bit out like that, right? Then, and then you just, uh, and then just tighten it back down, okay? And, and then there, there you have it. Now you have the, the shower head angled. I guess I didn't tighten it all the way down. It is slightly, um, adjustable if it's loose at all just tighten that screw that's in there that's what's holding it in place um, and heck you could even put uh, one of our extra long hoses on if you really want to make it upgraded this is a 72 inch um, but we have a 108 inch hose um, so that'll give you even more uh, reach but yeah job is done time to clean the shower so I don't get yelled at and now we're Daughter's gonna be thrilled to be able to play in the shower and you know enjoy the shower more than the bath. So thanks for joining me in this installation video. I hope you learned something, uh, how relatively easy this is to install. It's my first time installing a slide bar in the shower. You might've been able to see that, but hey, look, I've watched a lot of videos, read a lot of instructions, and uh, if you wanna buy this product, Check, uh, check us out in the, the link below. I'll also link to the drill bits that I used in this video. Uh, and that's it for now. Uh, signing out, Justin Ball. I am the showerhead guy.